Hey guys, Cash Home coming at you with another video for you. This video is another tag video. So this is the Nightmare and Elm Street tag created by Movie Freak. And I was tagged by Horrific Nightmares JM. So thank you so much for tagging me. He uh he actually didn't tag me in a video, he tagged me in the um I had commented on his video that I was dying to do this tag. I just was not officially tagged and he said well consider yourself officially tagged so thank you so much for tagging me man I'm a huge huge Nightmare on the Street fan Freddy Krueger is the reason why I love horror movies and um I'm gonna get down to these questions for you guys there's eight questions I will be tagging a few people as well and um I I believe that some of my answers will probably be a little different than a lot of you guys that have done this. Um, but that's why I love doing these. I love seeing all you guys, um, you know, what your answers are, what your opinions are. And, you know, and that's, what, that's what's cool about the horror community. Everybody has different opinions, but we all love the same, you know, we all love the movies. We just have a little different opinions, but it's cool though because... Like I said, we all love the movies. Okay, so number one. What is your favorite and least... What is your favorite film and least favorite and why? So, my favorite in the franchise is Nightmare on Elm Street 4. And um, I love Nightmare on Elm Street 4. Um, it's got a lot of nostalgia for me. Um, I saw... The first time I saw that was... Uh, that it was playing it in the uh, department store. I was with my dad, and it was in at the scene with the uh, the cockroach kill. And my dad was like, "Man, they really make these things gory, don't they?" <laughs> and I was like intrigued, you know. Up to that point, I've seen I had saw part two, and um, I saw I think I saw two and three. I, I saw the other ones. I just didn't see four yet, and I, I wanted to see it. And everybody, all my friends saw. It. Everybody was talking about it. And I didn't see all of it though. I saw that scene, and then uh, shortly after, I remember I had um, I got a, a special reward at school. It was uh, for Citizen of the Month from my class, and um, I got a, when you got that reward, you got to uh, get out early for the day, and you got to go. Uh, there was like a room you went downstairs, and they had like a little party for you. You got pizza. And like, you know, snacks and chips and cookies and uh, juice and all that stuff. And um, after we left, my dad took me to, uh, there was a store by our school and he took me there at Walgreens. And um, he told me, you know, he was going to buy me something. And I saw that. They had Nightmare on Elm Street 4 there. It was, uh, I believe it was the video treasure tape. But they still had it. It was 10 bucks, And I was like, I want this. And he's like... Um, I don't know if your mom would be happy if I bought this. And I was like, I, but I really saw him when we was watching it. He's like, uh, okay. So he got it for me. And when I got home with it, my mom was like, you bought this for him, what? But, um, she just was like, just make sure you don't, you know, play it around your brother and stuff. Because, you know, my brother was a few years younger than me. And he was very uh, impressionable, impressionable. So, um. So I didn't play it around him, um, but I did watch it a lot, and 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 one of my favorites to watch all the time. So, and the soundtrack, the music in that movie is so awesome, and I mean, I will get down more to some of these questions are going to probably get back to that. So, but yeah, my favorite is Nightmare on Street 4, and the least favorite is that, the remake, and, and I could say so much things about it, but... Yeah, the remake, the god awful remake. They just they could have done it right. They could have did. I just felt that they they casted the wrong Nancy for it. They this there's so much wrong with that movie. And I just, I mean, I went to see it, hoping to like it, but just to see what they really done with it. And I was just like, there's only one Freddy. Why? I mean, and you know, one Freddy, Robert England, and that's it. So, yeah, that, that remake, forget it. That's the one that I, I mean, yeah. So, number two, which movie has the best Freddy? So, 
I just said my favorite was part four, but for me is at least I feel this is that Freddy is almost the same, at least for me, in part three, four, and five. He's close to the same Freddy, and um, so all three of those have about the same Freddy. The the humor and everything is about close to the same for me. So, um, I would say that that's what I'm gonna say. I mean, for me, for the best Freddy, is in that area. Um, they're pretty much about the same. Uh, Robert England played it about the same for all three of those movies. Um, and uh, at least that's what I feel. So that's my answer for that. Number um three. Did you mind the humor as the sequels progressed? So, as I just said, they were about the same. The only one that had really changed drastically with the humor, and I mean where you could feel it had drastically changed, was uh, Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. The kills were uh, were so much like, uh, some some of them like cartoonish and over the top kind of, I mean, which was still cool. I mean... I you know I I love Freddy's Dead is fine um although that one's a little different because it it doesn't connect with the other ones I I would have liked if they had like did a sequel to five and brought Alice back but um that that was you know the um the only thing but yeah I I have no problem with the way they progressed you know I I love Freddy so there's there's no problems there but number four. Where are some of your favorite kills? So, obviously my favorite kill is the cockroach kill. I, lo I mean, I love that. That kill is so freaking awesome. Um, another favorite kill is the, um, the, uh, part three, you know, welcome to prime time, bitch. I love that scene. That's freaking awesome. Um, some more cool kills is the kill in part two when he's like, comes out of Jesse's body. He comes out of it, you know, and, and, um. He comes out of it, and that's cool, but it's not really a kill, but he coming out of that is freaking awesome. He's coming out of his body, and then he kills um, Grady, which is freaking kill. You know, it's a cool kill. I love that. I mean, I love all, probably almost, I could probably name a kill from every movie that I love. Another cool kill is from Part 5, and I know a lot of people have been saying, Dan, I like that kill. It's cool, but my one of my favorite kills from that is Greta, and not not the watered down theatrical, which a lot of us have seen. I'm talking about the unrated cut because um, and I don't even think it's available on Blu-ray or anything. I know I had uh, a VHS, and I don't even think it was released on DVD. I had the VHS. There was the unrated cut, and it's longer. Dan's um scene is longer as well, and um most of the the kills were were longer in, in that unrated cut and. That's the one I remember when I watched Greta's kill. It was more longer, you know. He's like, um, feeding her, her, you know, like he's grabbing into her and doing it. And the other one, it's just he's like feeding stuff, and it's just different. But it's totally more graphic, and that was like a really cool kill. And um, uh, obviously the original, you know, with Glenn when he uh the blood gushes through the bed is freaking awesome. I mean, there's so many kills I can go through. Um. Uh, but yeah, we'll get to the next question here, and that is number five. Robert England is irreplaceable, but if you had to uh, cast somebody else as Freddy, who would you cast? So, um, Robert England pretty much has stated, in a, and, and recently too, at, at one of the conventions, that. He felt that um, Kevin Bacon would nail it. You know, he would be best for it. He would, he would love to see it. So he basically, he's basically passing the torch. He's saying, Kevin Bacon, he could do this. Let's let him do it. I want to see him do it. All that stuff. And it would be cool. I think that that might happen. Um, I don't know. A lot of people, there are some people saying Kevin Bacon. But somebody I, I was thinking about, and I just watched this movie not too long ago, and I was thinking like. He maybe could do it, and um, you know I haven't seen him much, but that's uh T. Ryder Smith that played Trickster in Brain Scan. 
I think maybe he could do it. And I mean, I know a lot of people are like, what? You crazy, man. I don't know. I mean, this is a name I'm throwing out there. And those and Kevin Bacon, obviously, is a name that everybody, that I think probably could do it as well. Um, Because he's, every, like, uh, movie that he had played where he played a villain, he played somebody bad, he really, really nailed it. And he plays a great villain. So I think he could do really good at it. So, but I also think this other guy I just said, T. Ryder Smith, could do great too. So, number six. Was Freddy vs. Jason worth the wait? And, um, let's see. It says, and, uh, and what would I have done differently? Um, if I would have changed anything, I guess. I think that's what it's down here. Um, so, I, I love Freddy vs. Jason. I was super happy when they announced it because I felt when they finally announced that it was coming out that, that it was at that point that it was never happening um i mean i know when uh jason x came out i thought freddy was gonna be in there somewhere and i was like what where's freddy i thought he was supposed to be in the next jason what happened so at that time when that came out i kind of despised jason x because i thought freddy was gonna be in it and you know we didn't have the internet and all this stuff at the time so it wasn't really a lot of except if you read like you read the horror magazines and at that time i wasn't reading that stuff so i didn't really know about it but um so i was disappointed with the with that with jason x not having uh freddy in it but i mean i like jason x now it's cool but then i was like forget it um but then when uh freddy versus jason came out i was like i said super happy and um the movie itself i'm cool with it i do have my problems with um with things you know if i would you know i would have cast Obviously, Kane Harder would have been in there for Jason. Um, and I know Kane Harder, he like, you know, if you ask him about it, he freaking hates it because he felt that he should have been in it. And he should have been. Um, and the other thing, you know, I feel for that movie is that um, there's, if you watch it and you, you think about it, there's more Jason kills in it than Freddy kills. I mean, I know it has more of a, a Nightmare on Elm Street feel. But there's more Jason kills. There's only one Freddy kill in that movie. And it's, uh, um, I can't even think of his name. That that one kill, you know, where he, like, scratches his name in his back and stuff. And and that kill was supposed to be more gory, but they couldn't get the CGI right, so they cut it. It's, and it's on the deleted scenes on the on the Blu-ray, so you can check it out. But, um, I felt that I wanted to see some real cool Freddy kills in it, you know, like, you know, like, we've seen the other Freddy movies and stuff, so I was a little disappointed with that, but I love the fight scenes with Jason and Freddy, and that's basically what you went to see the movie for, so, I, I was very happy with that, and I seen when it came out, I saw it three times in the theater, so, um, I'm pretty happy with it, I mean, I was I disappointed when it came out, no, I was super happy, like I said, I didn't think it was gonna happen, so, yeah. I mean, I know I went back and forth on it, but it was worth the wait. So, okay. Number seven. Who was the best final girl? Now, this is where it's going to differ from a lot of you guys. I know um, everybody's obviously saying Nancy. But going back to my first answer, my favorite, Nightmare on Elm Street. So, it's Alice. Alice is my favorite final girl. So... I know a lot of guys, a lot of you guys are like, what? Alice? But yeah, Alice is my favorite final girl. Now, Nancy's awesome, but I love Alice. Um, I would have loved to see them do the, uh, where they did the final, you know, Freddy's Dead, the final nightmare. Had they done a uh, Alice story with it. And that's why when that came out, I was a little disappointed they didn't go that route. And they went a, a different way. It didn't even, like, connect to any of the other Nightmare on Elm Streets. But I think at that point, they just wanted to kind of end it. But I kind of felt like they kind of, like, you know, cheated, you know, gypped a little bit where they didn't connect it. But I still had fun with that one. I just felt I wish they would have stayed with the Alice, you know, story. But cause, like I said, it's my favorite final girl from the franchise. So, okay, number eight. What are some of your favorite sequels? So, my favorite sequels... Is two, three, four, and five. So those are my favorite sequels. Um, although I do like the other ones, you know, like Freddy's Dead, I like that, and West Craven's New Nightmare. When that came out, I was super happy because 
being a huge Freddy fan, I'm anytime there's anything Freddy, I'm like freaking like there. So I saw that like four times at the theater, and I had fun with it. Um, but my favorites are like two, three, and four, and five. Um, just because I think uh, two, I saw. I'm probably seen that even though four is my favorite. I think I probably seen two the most because. When that when we first got my, my VCR, I went to the video store. Our, VC, our video store, the only one they ever had in at the time, four didn't come out yet. Only one, two, and three, and the only one they ever had in was two. One was out all the time, and three was out. And the only one they had was two, so I always rented that, and I rented it over and over and over and over and over and over, and over, and over again. And um, finally, I saw uh, three, and then I saw one, and then. Four came out and I saw that, and then five came out and I got that. Like there was a store by my house um, that sold uh, videos and uh, records and stuff, and he had part five and he had, like just came out like a few weeks before that on v VHS and I got it, and then I watched that over and over again. So, but um, yeah, those those are you know I love all the Freddies, but um, my favorite like are those like I said two, three, four, and five um, are the ones that I watched the most from the sequels and um th that's my favorites so i'm rambling but yeah those are my favorite sequels and uh we're going back up here we're going to find our people that we're going to tag here so we're tagging um the first person i'm tagging is going to be jen's reviews from the grave so i want to tag you guys i know uh christian's favorite uh um film you know horror films are Nightmare on the Street so I know that it's a Nightmare on the Street dude so uh, I would love to see you guys do this and have some fun with it do your thing with it um another person I'm tagging which I know is a huge Nightmare on Elm Street a huge Freddy fan and I would love to see you do this and this is uh, I'm tagging Marie Gifford I love to see you do it um I know you're a huge Freddy fan so I would love to see your answers see what your you would uh Say for these. And the other two people I'm going to tag is the whore, the whore, Jen over there. I would love to see you do this to see what your uh, answers are. And the last person I'm going to tag is the whore freak 85. So I'm tagging all four of you guys. Um, Love to see you guys do it. If you don't want to, you know, it's cool. You know how I, am. I say if you want to do it, it's cool. And if anybody else who's watching it and you guys want to do it, feel free. Have fun with this. I'm going to leave the questions down below. I'm going to leave uh, um, Movie Freak. I'm going to leave his original video link down below. I'm going to leave Horrific Nightmares JM's uh, video down below as well. So make sure you go check them out. As always, guys, Blue Rain, this is awesomeness. And if you're new here and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell. Hit the like button. All that cool stuff. Until next time, guys, peace out.